I look like to you? The freaking pixel man? Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, the show that gives you all these latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. We got yourself a good old episode of Front Pixel Tech on this fine Wednesday, this fine hump day of days. I don't know how I became the person that people just dump all the leaks on, but my inbox is filled with them. And I got one of them that seems credible, so today let's talk about the thing. All right, so first up, story numero uno for the day. Let's talk about the Pixel 4. Listen, I don't know, I don't know how it happened, but ever since last year, that whole Pixel debacle with me and Google, somehow I became like the person to dump all the leaks on. Like, I feel like that GIF, you know the thing? This GIF right here with all the wieners like flying into the chick's face. Except in this case, the chick is me and the wieners are just Pixel 4 leaks. So I guess if you wanna just add to my nightmare, go ahead and use my email as like your own personal Pixel 4 leak hotline. That is, if you have real leaks. Thank you. Any whore, this source pretty much came to me and confirmed uh, a lot of what we already know about the Pixel 4. He went ahead and confirmed that hole punch display. Check, lines right up with that. Confirmed the in-display fingerprint reader. Check, lines right up with that. In fact, we leaked that like a couple weeks ago. We had that exclusive that confirmed the in-display fingerprint reader in the Pixel. He also said it will have front firing speakers. And then the thing that we didn't know was coming. According to this source, there will not be buttons on the Pixel 4, like physical working clicky ass buttons. Instead, according to him, they will be touch capacity buttons on the side. Okay, so there is where I am a little bit conflicted. You see, the source is credible. Like we looked into the source, all that stuff. We did the vetting. The source themselves is credible, but th the journ in me is still skeptical because like, for why though? Like I just can't for the life of me figure out why Google would want to do this with the buttons? Like there's a lot of reasons for a lot of different things that they would do, but like I just, for why? Why, I can't think of any other reason to do this other than Hey, we did it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if this seems like a thing that Google would do or if it makes sense, if you can come up with any good reasons as to why they would do this. Uh, forgive me for being skeptical. My brain was turned into mush last- You remember last year when I had that like total mental breakdown on the show over pixel leaks? So yeah, listen, I'm only telling you guys this because the source themselves is credible and I think you guys deserve to hear it, whether it turns out to be true or not. I don't really, I'm just the messenger at this point. You guys are just using me as a human Pixel 4 leak vessel. All right, so next up, let's talk Apple news. In today's Apple news, Colors! So this one's like a day or so old, but if you missed it, uh, that's why we're here. You see, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, who was on a roll right now with Apple leak stuff, he tweeted an image of broken glass shards, which according to him are broken glass shards from the upcoming iPhone 11 R. And according to him, these glass shards reveal new colors for the phone, saying that Apple will ditch the colors of coral and blue, which I kind of liked, and instead have a purple and green color. So from those glass shards, here's some like renders of what the actual phones would look like with these colors. And listen, that purple's gonna sell real fucking well. I love how all this cool, amazing stuff is happening around us in tech, but Apple news is new colors on the phone. But listen, we gotta pay attention to it. It is still news because regardless of what you think, if you hate the iPhone XR currently, if you're gonna hate the iPhone 11R, this phone that we're talking about right now, the upcoming iPhone 11R, will be the best-selling smartphone this year and next year. That's just how it works. Speaking of cool tech that is happening around us, Lenovo. You cheeky bastards. Lenovo just announced and showed off a foldable PC. It's a prototype ThinkPad and look, at this thing. Now, real quick, before I show you more, I know you're curious about my opinion because I've been very critical of folding phones and stuff. Uh, this 
Yeah, this is awesome. This is a near perfect use for this sort of thing. Yes, if you watch this show, you know my opinion on foldables and you know why I dislike the concept of foldable phones and why I think that's just not, not gonna work. It's just not the future. I say that because market expectations really, really matter and hitting a user demographic with something they need that solves a problem really, really matters. And unfortunately, whether you believe me or not, subscribers of this YouTube channel, comments in the comment section, it doesn't matter. Uh, foldable phones don't match the typical use case for average consumers. We don't need pocketable, portable things to be more portable and pocketable. But something like this, this folding Lenovo ThinkPad, yes, this nailed it. There's already a market for making like bigger laptops, more portable, bigger tablets, more portable. So this fits right in. To me, this feels like a perfect combination of the experience that users would need. And this is a great implementation of this technology. Folding technology is certainly the future. Maybe not for the smartphone in your pocket, but hell yes, for something like this. And the reason I'm so excited about this is not because it's totally perfect and this is exactly what I want. This to me is just definitely in a much better direction. This is headed a much better way. Let's keep going this way. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you a fan or are you not a fan of this folding laptop, folding tablet? We'll just call it a, a tabla lop. Folding tabla lap, a tabla lap. Why do you watch me? Oh yeah, and uh, real quick, I figured I'd just toss this in here at the end of the show. Um, I know everyone is talking about the OnePlus 7 Pro. I didn't want to make this video about that because everyone is taught your subscription feed is filled with that shit. So instead, I will just quickly give you my opinion, and my opinion is, it's awesome. I really like it. Hey, it's 2019. If your brand or business doesn't have an online presence, what's wrong with you? You have no excuses, especially when building a website with bookmark takes less time than it took you to watch this episode. Seriously, you probably could have built like three websites while you watched this. With the most intuitive website builder I have ever seen ever, bookmark can have a professional e-commerce ready website built for you in less than two minutes using Ada, your artificial intelligence design assistant, all without you having to know even a single line of code. Ada can create optimized websites for over 750 business types in one click with their own e-learning courses, website analytics, community forms, and powerful entrepreneur tools at your disposal. Bookmark has assembled a wealth of knowledge for you to use to grow your business and take it to the next level. So if you're finally ready to work smart and not hard, click the link down in the description below. And of course, a huge thanks to Bookmark for supporting this show. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dis, the dis, the dis, the dis, the dislike button. Mm. Wow, really fell apart at the end, I feel like. Uh, okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow.